Hey everyone, how are you all doing? So today is 27th of December when I'm filming this. It's nearly the end of 2020. We all can't wait to get rid of this year. But this year, I don't know why. Maybe I'm, I, I haven't been too active on YouTube or something, but usually at this time of the year, there's such a constant barrage of videos talking about resolutions and goals for the new year, fitness goals, lifestyle goals and whatnot. So this year, somehow I've not seen any video. I don't know why that is. Maybe I haven't been spending too much time on the internet perhaps. So last year I had also made a video on uh, the goals for 2020 and they a lot of them went out the window like this year was unprecedented. To be honest I'm not really in the mood to make a, a goal list for 2020. Like it's great that we survived. We are healthy. Our family, friends, everybody is doing well. They're all healthy. So I think that is all that I care for this year. But I thought it'll be fun to just go back and see what I had in mind for this year and see how much I have actually achieved. They weren't like any lofty goals that I had made. They were more like lifestyle changes that, um, that I had. So let's see where I ended up and um, might be good to keep myself accountable to you all. Might be good for you also to revisit some of them and see how the year has been. So let's start. So I don't think I want to go through the entire video. It's an almost 10 minutes long video. I'll just pick out some of the interesting bits. A lot of these are lifestyle changes or mindset changes with the aim to create a new habit. So it's nothing crazy like I'm going to give up sugar, I'll give up coffee. I'm not going to torture myself voluntarily just because it's a new year, new me. Nothing crazy going on here. Some of these things I've already started to implement in 2019, but I want to make it into a habit. So this does show up in my list of goals for 2020. And my first goal is to have less sugar in my chai. So a lot of you may be coffee drinkers. I don't drink coffee, I drink chai but I do take sugar in my chai as well and I consume like two to three cups in a day and chai is something I love I'm never going to be able to give it up so I think even if I reduce the sugar in my chai I still will enjoy my chai so I might as well you know save all those calories for something different so that's why I'm going to cut it down by half and then slowly aim to reduce it to no sugar in my chai so I am successful in that um, I did slowly reduce the sugar and only like this month earlier this month I realized that I'm still taking a little bit of sugar. So as of this month, I have stopped taking sugar in my chai and I'm very proud of that. <laughs> I had reduced it to half quite early on in the year, but I think uh, in this lockdown and being at home all day, I've put on quite a bit of weight. And that was a bit of a reminder that, hey, I needed to cut down my sugar completely. So earlier this month, I stopped taking any sugar in my chai. I still have my biscuits and uh, cakes and mithai and everything. I have a massive sweet tooth, but you know, in chai, I don't need chai or coffee, whatever you people drink. I don't think we need to add in the extra calories. We're going to enjoy the beverage with or without sugar anyways. Like it's, it'll take a bit of getting used to, but at the end of the day, I think coffee or tea, whatever you like, uh, cutting out sugar from those drinks are probably the easiest ways to be the easiest healthy. drinks to now, cut this is a very blanket statement that we hear in everybody's resolutions it. but I have actually put some more bullet points under this but I won't go too much in detail into all of them today because it'll be a 30 minute long video and you'll be asleep by the end of it so I'm gonna stick to the basics here and the only thing that I would say is that healthy eating starts at the grocery store so I will try and pick up more fresh fruits and fresh vegetables at the grocery store just so that I can stick to this habit the next one is also very similar and that is more like a reminder than a goal and the reminder is that food is fuel so every time I go out to eat my um, I always get attracted to the cakes the pastries and all the rich foods so this is just going to be a reminder that food is fuel so make better choices healthier choices yeah so that uh, kind of went out of the window <laughs> um, again you know staying at home all the time for the most part of the year we need something to cheer us up and food tends to be that sometimes i haven't been too bad but like i could have done better but come on yeah this year was like none other so it's okay take the stairs whenever you can and i say whenever you can because i work on the 23rd floor of my building and it's unlikely i'm going to take 23 flights of stairs how much life changes right in in a span of a year so yeah i 23rd floor to ground floor like i We've all been working from home. So. Buy a few weights and work out for at least 20 minutes every day. 
So this year I was a member at the gym nearby but uh, I wasn't really very motivated. I used to go like two maximum three times a week. I had thought that you know the fact that I'm putting money into the gym will make me go there more often but it didn't work unfortunately. And while I was at the gym a lot of the exercises I used to do did not there were only three or four machines that I used to use that I used to really like. They were the leg press, the rowing machine, the lat pull uh, and there was one which um, I don't know the name but it has those stretchy band kind of things that you can pull and uh, increase the weights or whatever. So those were the only machines that I ended up using and the rest of the workout was done using either kettlebells or weights or you know those barbells. So I already have a few weights at home. I have a yoga mat so I just need to go out and buy a couple more weights and that should be enough for me to get into this routine. So 20 minutes a day four times a week is really not a lot especially when I'm at home I don't have to get to another place I don't have to change into my gear I can just wake up do 20 minutes of workout just before my shower and that should be it so it sounds quite straightforward and fingers crossed we're gonna stick to it so that was one good purchase that I made towards the early part of the year because sometime in March or something when when the world went into lockdown like there was a mad scramble for all these workout workout gear and equipment so yeah and towards the early part of the year when we were freshly in lockdown when we are we didn't have to go to work and uh, and we weren't sure we we didn't know it's going to be so bad it'll the whole year is going to be so messed up uh, at that time i did utilize the time being at home quite well doing a bit of workout some bollywood dance routines i had a lot of fun following some of those bollywood dance routines there were quite a few people who whose classes were shut down so they had started uh, initially they had started putting their classes on zoom or youtube that went very well but towards the later part of the year i just slacked off and the last goal for 2020 is to travel more i haven't made any plans of where i want to go in 2020 but i do want to make the time for travel yeah the travel thing didn't happen did you read about the flights to nowhere you board a you board an aircraft at a certain location you fly and you land at the same airport <laughs> so yeah i don't know when we can uh, get back to regular travel it did open up for us in australia for quite a few months actually but there was always a bit of uncertainty when the another state's border might close so obviously only domestic travel had opened up for us in australia but uh, it was always a bit not not sure when the state borders might close and it has actually now people from sydney are not allowed to go to other states without a permit without a valid pass and you'll only get that permit if you are a resident of that state i think or if you're an essential worker so yeah that travel thing went out the window how were your goals or resolutions that you made in 2020 um, i think for this year in particular it's going to be a lot of fun to go back and revisit what we had thought we are going to do in this year and how different it has turned out to be i hope you're all doing well you're all healthy happy with your family and i wish you all a very happy new year take care bye